Good morning, YouTube. This is Mag Sinker with Convertible Turtle, and it is 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it is time once again for some Legend of Zelda Breakfast of the Wild. Thanks to everybody for joining me this morning. Just about got my YouTube itself up all the way from my chat, and we'll see who's in here with us today. Matt Rayford. Dart out plays, Merlin Boschoff, Opponent's Loyalty, Noah Bruner, and uh, Miracle Suzelda. Looks like Miracle was in there quite a while back. Um, one of these days I'll figure out how you guys get in here before the timer's supposed to go off. And that way I can figure out what I can do to entertain you guys. But until then, thanks for joining me this morning. We have an amazing stream today. If you can handle all the corniness. Magic, according to Matt. Well, I, I'm one to believe in magic. And after yesterday, I went ahead and threw the... Uh, the old pro controller on the charger so it won't run out on time all right turn left let's see if we can't get to a maze guys how how nice they have a a guardian just right over here that we can't even loot that's entertaining all righty let's see Well, it looks like it's definitely going to be one of those that's going to be fun to go through, so let's just coast right in here, guys. Huh. Good morning, Artificial Straws. Yes, Matt, we're, we, are, we have one amazing stream today. It's going to be all the labyrinths. That's, that's the goal. Oh. We, uh, we may not make it to this labyrinth. My goodness. Oh, there's some flying guardians too. What kind of noise is this? I uh I was clearly not prepared for this place. Maybe maybe uh maybe not. Um alrighty. Well, we have arrived. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Thanks, Dardell Plays. Uh, I have done two of them. This one I haven't. And I can see why, maybe. Let's hopefully kill this thing with Perry, guys. All right, so uh, the roof protection is now ready. oh, that's, that's that's real good timing for Dirk's protection. Um, wow, so this is like the Guardian Labyrinth, I take it. You know what these Guardians remind me of? In the original Zelda, there are the stone statues, right? That would become animated if you got too close or touched them. It kind of reminds me of that. There's a diamond circlet right at the end. Oh, good morning, Justin. And Natanoosh, good morning as well. All right. The answer is straight in front of me. Well, I, uh, I, I definitely understand that the answer's in front of me in so much that the, the shrine's right in front. Look at this little hollowed out section. Interesting. Well, 
Well, let's see if climbing up does us any good. Yeah, I usually, the, the last two labyrinths that I've done on my main game, I've not done this one, but I did the Gerudo one, and I did the, uh, the one that had all the scale, Stalfos nearby. It was by the, I want to say it was by the Sage, of course. But my, my tactic for those, now granted I had two full stamina wheels, and not this one in a portion that I've got right now, but my, my strategy for that was basically climb the walls and avoid it. Good morning, Enrique. Uh, Revolis does make this easy. Um, if we have to depend on it, I want to make sure that those two charges we got saved back get used when they're needed, though, and not just for the grins and giggles of it. Oh, please don't see us, little flying guardian. I still have no clue how to kill you half the time. Alright, so that doesn't look like to be the good way in. That looks like to be a horrifying way to try to get in here. Well, that looks like a real nice, possible, fast way to get in here. But, uh... That's what I get for thinking, I think. Is this the circlet? Nope, it's the rupee. Okay. Well, we've at least made it into the big old square in the back. So that's that's a bonus. And now we are... meandering very far outside this shrine, the little center that we were in. Okay. So let's try the other direction. This direction didn't suit us. We'll go the other way. Good morning, Agnesh. Down a hole next to the shrine. Well. Hmm. We'll start the long journey up. Looking at the mini map, there's only a couple different places it can still be. Oh, that's just my luck, opponent's loyalty. That's just my luck. You know it'd be exactly right where I'm supposed to jump down. Hey, this right here's going to be the... Nope, it's not. Great. Moving onward. Question is now, do I have the stamina to get up the rest of this wall without falling? And the answer to that question, maybe no. The only way we'll know for certain... Oh, we barely got it, guys. Awesome. I don't plan them that well often, but I'm glad I do when I did. Oh, joy. It's one of those things again. All right. Well... There's a secret treasure chest, so there's at least that. Uh, 
Uh, climbing gear would just speed up the process. But, uh... If his grace is ready, well... Hmm. Intriguing. Oh, oh. Alright guys, looks like we find the... the all right, looks like we got to the Chewy Nougat Center here. Awesome. It only took about 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, I appreciate you not giving me the exact location, guys. I, I gotta... I gotta earn part of this, right? Oh, nobody said there'd be fire. That's okay, though. Well, ouch. Trying to set fire to this. Really? Okay, tell you what, guys. Let's uh, go over here. Get us one of our dwindling pieces of wood. Drop it. Set fire to it. Grab one of the most important items in the whole game. There we go. Ah, I do pretty good. So how was I supposed to go about this? Oh, we don't want to use our we don't use a torch too much. Man, it was like a three-dimensional kind of oh wow. Well, that's good to know for future. Like, on my other game, when I have to come back here. Yeah, ready. Oh. Well, that's cool looking. But, uh, not actually what we're looking for, is it, guys? Was I supposed to go up this? Oh, wow, okay. Uh, great flame blades, respawns, okay. How do the champion's abilities even charge? Um... When you have the champion's abilities unlocked and you actually use them all the way, there's a timer. And it's it's just time. That's all it takes. Like, uh, the worst of it's Mephis Grace. Mephis takes like half an hour, which is kind of unfortunate for me because I have a habit of using it accidentally all of the time. Uh, Revali's Gale, uh, Doran's Protection, and Robasa's Fury, they only take like 10 minutes. Okay, so around here is a diamond circlet, according to Matt. I'm guessing diamond circlet's down here, because he said it was down a hole. So we'll go in and claim our, our prize here. And hopefully, uh, I think what you were saying to me, Matt, is this is supposed to be the... Opens up after the shrine. All right. Yeah. I remember the bars usually go away when the shrine's accessed. Uh, barbarian armor. Yeah, that's what we're waiting for. That's exactly what I need is to have my attack power raised. Curious, uh, any, everybody out there, does the barbarian armor raise the damage output of the bombs? <laughs> because if they do, it could be a problem. Um... Let's make sure we actually go up here and claim our spirit orb this time. Yep, 
Yes, I've, I've heard it's a trap. <laughs> uh, but unlike anybody else from Star Wars that's going to walk into a, a General Akbar type trap, Link has fast travel options. So unless they stop me from teleporting out of the, the hole I'm about to jump down into, I think I'll be all right. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. Oh, that doesn't look so bad. I mean, it's got a... Oh, I am in the wrong place, guys. I am by far in the wrong place. This is not good. Let's let's be smart about this. I am about to get my Oh, uh, this is not gonna be good. Oh, well, that's one down. Oh, and my shield broke too. Oh no, my shield didn't break, okay. Oh, I didn't time that right at all. Thank me for guys. Thank me for. Oh man, the delay on that. Okay, I'm gonna have to get close. I know I was targeted with three lasers, so there's got to be another one of these things running around, wanting to just totally destroy me. Well, far be it for me to deny you guys a death count today. Since we're down here, this looks to be a real good place to get all these kind of guardian parts. We're near the Aqua Lab. And I, I'm not quite groggy enough to be really bad on my timing. We'll, we'll give whatever third guardian around here its final shot. Well, that was, that was Duran's protection, or Durak's protection, that blocked all three lasers the first time. I, uh, I don't think that they all died. Actually, let's just do this the easy way. Yeah, there's one still alive. Oh, wait. There's a few still alive. Let's go and beat this turtle up while we can. That's not good. Die! Wow, that was a bright light. Oh, Fairy saved us that time. And Forest Dweller Shield that we really don't want to part with saved us that time. Ah. Uh, can't keep a good Hyrulean champion down, guys. So there's one more of these things. One more. Oh, there's some parts over there that we missed, so yeah, we must have 
blowing that guy up. I like the fact that they're like, hey, here you go. Here's this piece of gear you're absolutely going to need. Otherwise, you'll die. Um, okay. Um, all right, I officially need an adult, guys. Did the Fury get it? All right, the Fury got it. Yeah, they, they patched that, Tom Sonic. They, uh... They absolutely patched that. That was the last patch that they did on the game. That was one of the stealth things they fixed along with the arrow farming. But the uh, Nintendo devs are always kind of a step behind on that stuff. Yeah, after the last stream, I, I think it might have been you who told me about it. I went on to my, my personal game, not my live game, and, and tested it. Yep. <laughs> yep, you guys, I, I did it. Bit artificial straw just pointed out I'm back to zero shields, guys. Oh, it, it is it is a hard life being a mag sinker without a shield. The only time I ever bring them out is when I'm trying to parry things and avoid getting killed. Oh, uh, well, as much as I want to continually loot all these guys, um, we're gonna go ahead and fast travel. We killed the last one. And now we're going to I think the Boris will get us closest to that one right there. Oh Noah Bruner said it, okay. Oh absolutely Richard Benefit is. And uh welcome to the stream. Appreciate you coming in. Yeah, I was kind of funk, uh, messed up with that too, Gleam Eyes, the Decayed Guardians. Yeah, Dev Count Zero still. Uh, yes, I did get the treasure chest in that room. That's that's what uh, that's what caused three of them to aggro on me all at once, was the treasure chest. Alright, so... All right. Wait, what? Okay, I need to get better at my directions and my direction I'm pointing on the map, I guess. It almost looks like I was pointing the right direction for the, the shrine to start with. Um, Herneman. Morning, sir. And yeah, Thor plays, uh, I, yeah, it's all Guardians. Nintendo is doing everything they can to make this a legitimate game. They, uh, they've got the speedrunning community behind it, and they've got some hardcore gamer groups behind it. So they're doing everything they can to make sure that exploits get fixed as far as they can. The only problem right now, all right, is the big exploit that people are abusing is the clone exploit, and I don't know how they're going to fix that. Good morning, Raw Thoughts. And, yeah, um... Eight Hylian shields. Uh, what is what, Noah? The the clone trick? Is that what you're talking about? 
Uh, Tom Sonic, they'll probably not fix the flying minecart. Uh, it'd be really hard from the to tell how to fix that, in my opinion. Just looking at it from a coder's perspective, the amount of resources and overhead that it would require in the magnesis subroutine to see if there is another metal object near one metal object to cut off the actual magnesis would be pretty tough. I mean, there's some shrines that require you to put metal against metal, even. Um, so the the clone trick there. So you can actually clone any of the held items you have in your inventory, including the Hylian shield. Uh, the only thing that you cannot clone is the master sword. And the way it works is you have to fill up your inventory with a bunch of bows. You have to find a huge group of enemies, uh, typically bokoblins. And if find, upon finding said bokoblins, the next thing you do is you equip them all with the arrows. Once they're all equipped with the arrows, or the bows and arrows rather, you then proceed to get into a fight with them to where all their animations with all the bows and arrows and whatnot max out the hardware capabilities. Oh, thanks for uh, seven guys. Let's see here. So yeah, uh, yeah, they they did make it to where you can have more than one master sword in your inventory. They made it. They they did a few things that fix a couple of the issues. Um, so what you do is once the game gets glitchy uh, because there's, it's generating too much overhead, the next thing you do is you. Make sure you have your uh, weapon that you want to clone equipped. You go into your inventory, you equip something else. The graphics will glitch out. I'm probably not going the right direction to get in here. Um, and it'll basically all you'll see on your actual avatar is you'll see uh, Link, uh, his head floating around. Um, what are you talking about, Hearn Man? Uh, good morning, Thomas Poot and Legend of Games. Um, so far, so good, Charles. We, we got one down, we got two more to go. We're halfway through this one. Yes, sir. I, I curse uh, when it warrants it. I, I don't cuss just for the sake of cussing, but I have been known to say a number of S's and F's and D's. And... Hey, Tron Father. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the stream this morning. But I am, I am of the, the firm belief that insulting people is one of those things that's just not cool to do. I uh, think we should treat each other with respect and kindness to a point. If people want to act crazy or be stupid, then I will I'll call them on that. But that's that's pretty much my my personal thoughts though. Yeah, they uh, they kind of make you go through the goop. Oh, come on. Out of the goop, out of the goop before we die. Out of the goop before we die. Alright, let's see what we have as far as the uh, the menu today, guys. So we have a truckload of apples. Let's start off with eating that. Oh, thanks for subscribing. Yeah, I think I found the entrance, too. I just... I want to heal up because I noticed I was really low. You found a doggy. That's always cool. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty fond of pooches. Oh, 
All right, and nothing around here that's all sneaky and secret like the diamond that almost got us killed earlier, so we're good there. And we got through this one pretty quick. Feeling pretty good about this. Um, ARC 8 p.m. Eastern on Monday, Matt Rayford. Well, Tom Sonic, I've seen lots of people that have basically mentioned that it's not fixed, so maybe you're just not patched. Uh, Richard, they kind of have that in a sense. If you get any of the foods that um, increase your, your heart value, those will automatically fill you up just by eating one of them. Uh, the thing is, though, is I, I rarely cook food. I'd much rather be out playing and then goofing off. Uh, I don't think there's secret stuff per se, Matt Rayford, but I, I do know that all the labyrinths... Oh, there I go again, guys. You gotta call me on that stuff. I almost walked out with the spirit orb again. But I do think there's a lot of treasure chests in the lab in themselves. But yeah. Uh, Chad Keller, I don't know if you said good morning either. I don't know if I told you good morning either. Uh, but good morning, re regardless. Yagnesh, uh, as much as you love me punching it with my fist, I gotta be straight with you. The amount of time it takes for me to slip by a position myself and hit it is, you know, that many more minutes I could be doing stuff other than that on the stream. It's a neat little effect. I mean, for that matter, I can take my pants off on the game and punch or kick them and hurt my shins, and that's kind of fun too. Alright, so we got one more labyrinth, guys. One more labyrinth. Uh, no artificial straws. That was just a royal broadsword, and I've already gotten a photo of it. Yeah, um, a oh, golden claymore. Mm. I might have to go back at, at another point when we start searching stuff over. Okay, so we definitely need to put on some snow gear. Put on actually, and where's our where's our circlet hat? Ah. Uh, Actually, as much as I want to put on the snow pants, or the snow pants, I think we're going to have to go with the Lionel hat. As Matt Rayford just pointed out, between this and the next one, there is per capita more than its fair share of Lionels on the way over here. So we're gonna get sneaky with it. Yeah, I. We'll get on GTA Majora, and we'll wear the Lionel hat, and we'll just hope for the best. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Wiley Foster. Um, I've... I have to be honest, I don't really rem remember everybody, Wiley. I, uh... I, I'm sorry for that. I have... I've got 466 subs now, I think, is what the total count is. 
I try to remember everybody at the at the very worst case scenario. I make sure I say hi to everybody as they come on. Absolutely, I'm on a horse with a Lionel mask. I just about halfway blend in with these guys now, right? That's gonna be some frozen meat somewhere. Oh, speaking of Lionels, I think that's one right over there. Could be an enemy on horseback. Could be a Lionel. Yep, that's a Lionel. So Lionels get the nope stamp. We always want to remember where the Lionels are because we want to nope out of there if we ever wind up getting on the wrong side of them at any point in time. Alright, you stay there for a second GTA. Hey guys, I know we're doing all the labyrinths today, but this shrine is just right in front of me. Right in front of me. Hey Glenn Parks, good morning sir. I'm doing all the, the mazes today. Ooh, major test of strength. Good morning, Prandy. I uh, didn't see you come in, sir. But appreciate you being in here today. All right. Um, wow, this is not a test of strength. I was kind of mentally prepping for that. Well, we timed that horribly wrong. So we will uh, wait for our stasis to reload, that's for sure. But in the meantime, I think... Nope, can't get that yet. We'll go up here and get it that way. Uh, opponent's loyalty. GTA uh, 5 Girl is one of my actual mods. At the time, she was not a mod. Actually, what was that in there, guys? A royal broadsword. Okay. Come on, give us something we can throw away. Hey, guys, I think I'll throw away a royal broadsword, and we'll replace it with a royal broadsword. So yeah, the uh, GTA Majora was a combination of the moderator's name and Majora's mask. So we just kind of combined the two of them. Let's see here. Gabriel, Gabriel, welcome to the stream. Charge attack, stamina down, nice. Uh, Charles Michelson, there's a, a a vendor named Kilton. He's actually in the Akala region. Right here at Skull Lake. And if you go right there in that eyeball, that's where you get to him. And he actually buys things for monster parts. You have to convert all the stuff into monster currency, and there's kind of a whole ordeal with it, but it is what it is. And we missed it again. Boy, howdy. Well, we will come back to that in a moment. Maybe we just walk this thing all the way up these stairs. And see if we can't do something else. I think that's going to be our solution. 
to get to that chest, so that'll work. Yeah, that's a smart idea. Stasis it once it's up on the platform. That's what I'm looking to do. I'll show it. Actually, we just stasis the platform. That'll work too. Alright, small key that'll open up shrines. And that is all the treasure chests we have in this shrine, so there we go. That wasn't too bad. Um, I'm actually, Matt, I'm not on, on my other game, I've got the Lionel Hat too, and I've only got three Divine Beasts beaten. Alright, Lost Demon. Thanks for joining the stream today. Have a great day. Alright, so we're still out here. Get back on GTA Majora. And as for naming the, the horses, that's kind of a, a common thing with me is when I when I get a new one unless it's the the special ones, you know, like the, the royal horse or the giant horse. Um I actually named them after stream fans or people that actually want it. Oh, the dark set unlocks it for... Okay. Well, that explains why I can get the dark set on this game and I couldn't get it on the other one. Are you kidding me? Alright, GTA, ride like the wind. Come on. Hi, nice day we're having. Goodbye. Goodbye. Put another nope stamp on the board. Oh. Oh, we almost had a hat trick for running all of them over. Alright. And we'll just park you right there. And we'll see what we get into over here, guys. Uh, Charles Michelson. <laughs> Oh, I, I appreciate the vote of confidence, man. Um, but speed runs, not going to happen. Uh, three heart runs, probably not going to happen either. Um, I, it's a great game, and I love playing it. But it's it's kind of like one of those things that I uh, I like all sports in general, but when I come down to it, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty big dude. I'm not physically fit, so I don't play sports professionally. Same thing with video games. Uh, when I get down to it, I'm just... I'm just not that guy to do speedruns and whatnot, at least in this game. Some games I could probably do it. Well, here's a nice little treasure chest for my trouble. Uh, Noah Bruner, for the number of Lionels that I, I avoid, I can't just do uh, markers there. 
Um, I actually don't give shout outs. I say hello to people and I mention them by name. But I, I don't give shout outs. So so to answer your earlier question, I, I've I've said hello, I wished you a good day, I thank you for being in my stream. That's that's pretty much everybody equal at that point. So I'm pretty close, I'm told. Well, that went into a complete circle. Oh, here's another chest. As we run around with a really cool silver Lionel mask. What's up, Edgar183? Yeah, yeah. For those of you that are here this morning, uh, new to the stream, my name is Mag Synchro. I'm with Convertible Turtle Gaming. And this is the Legend of Zelda Breakfast of the Wild. Usually we get asked why we call it that. And it's because I live on the eastern coast of the United States. And when I start playing, it is 8 a.m. And I play for an hour. So basically, when people will be eating breakfast, is when I play. And we play from 8 a.m. till 9 a.m., which means we got about another 15 minutes on the stream. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's kind of what I'm doing right now, Matt, is the map seems to indicate there might be like a, a darkened tunnel all the way down here. But maybe not. Uh, let's see here. It looks like it's going to be one of these two sections here that kind of get me into it. Oh, we just got another subscriber. Way cool. So, yeah, so uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let everybody else know about breakfast, just like Michael Colby did. Thanks for the subscription, Michael Colby. Really appreciate that, guys. Um, yeah, it, uh, it absolutely is easiest being above the nasal point of loyalty, but that's kind of not the, the spirit of these things. I've, I've done some maze design, like hedge mazes and RPG mazes and what have you. And... Usually, I'll put them with some kind of roof or something to prevent people from kind of cheesing it. Mainly because of the same reason. Alright. Oh! And uh, Hector Lopez just subscribed. Appreciate you subscribing, Hector. Oh, here's some ladder. Ladder's usually a good sign. Well, there's some choo-choos. We'll let them be. Because I th think we just made it there. Yep, we sure did. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get ourselves in here. Octazura Promethean, welcome to the stream. Well, <laughs> yeah, Agnesh, that's, that's the pun for this one, man. The, uh, the way corn grows is corn grows what they call a maze or a corn maze. So when you see a field of corn, the, the proper term for a field of corn is a maze. So this was the maze stream. So uh, the Mr. Gamer just subscribed. Hey, man. Also, a meteor wand in this maze. You're quite rare. Um... Uh, Verkman just subscribed. Thanks for the subscription, Verkman. Yep, we just want artificial straw said, guys. The the whole reason for the name today is because of the corn and the maze and everything else. Oh, we're getting like a real cool sub spike. Oh, it's Aveline just subscribed. Night, but why are you? What are you? What's going on? Oh, you can get them from any fire wizard robe. Okay, so I'm not gonna comb through the maze for that. 
Oh, yes, Nightbot. I remembered your boss's fury today. I used them on the Guardians because the Guardians were, were wrecking my lunch and taking my money. Yes, I now have the whole set. You are absolutely correct, Glemias. But the uh, the better question now is now that I have the whole set, and now that we've got the third maze taken care of, what's going to be the, the next? And, um... Hmm... Nearly an hour extra. Oh no, Matt. T today's Friday. I, I go to bed in ten minutes. I wish I had an hour extra. No, there's no more mazes, artificial straws. That's the last of the mazes. Unless you know of a, a fourth maze, that's that's it. Let's see. I guess we should probably go and take care of the, the Aqua Tech Lab. Because it's all nice and glowy and lit up on it for us. <laughs> oh, opponent's loyalty. Um, yeah, we... Uh, the dark area above the Lost Woods is a maze? Oh, Matt. That's important to know. This is the maze stream. So this is a maze with a shrine in it? I don't even know how I'd get there. All right. Well, um, I, th I guess I just use Rivali's Gale from the shrine and hope for the best. Yeah, opponent's loyalty. Uh, you're just wanting me to wipe, I think. Oh, from Death Mountain. Okay. Hey, potato! Nightbot said no! No capsies! Yeah, that, I, um, I'm getting that, that feeling that it ain't gonna work. So... We'll go to the shrine and we'll change out to our, our heat resistant gear. Yes, Legend of Game Z, I do have the Master Sword. I've got the Master Sword, I've got most of the armor that's all elemental based. Hey, on the bright side, we don't have to worry about our shield bursting into flames. Or our sword, for that matter. Let's go ahead and get us some, some chill gear going. Keep that stylish flannel helmet on. Because it's stylish. Hello, Octorok. I don't have any, any bums for you, man. Just do some serpentine motions to avoid those guys. Hey, we got all of our, our abilities back. Oh, 49 watching. Seriously? That's awesome. I kind of wish today was a buffet edition. We, we'd be able to do a lot with that. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a long walk, but that's what I get for being kind of eclectic on the... On the the shrines and stuff we've been gathering. Uh, 
Uh, it's dark where I'm at? No, it's it's pretty lit up. I'm in the Goron City. You know, that kind of makes a good idea. We'll just go ahead and put down a pin. Give us a good idea of the direction we need to head. At the ruins, it's so dark. Uh, well, I've got a torch. And I got a flame sword. And unfortunately, with the... Uh, the rate we're going... We'll probably get right to the ruins just as it's time to stop the stream for today. So we'll we'll probably wind up doing the ruins tomorrow, guys. It's just the the way the clock works. Star fragment in the chest. That's good to know too. And yeah, we're we're probably a good two minutes away from this. Yes, Richard. Uh, Breakfast of the Wild streams every day at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time until 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, except for on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, not Saturday, Sunday. My bad flub that Sundays and Mondays Sundays and Mondays when nine o'clock rolls around we actually wind up streaming until a uh, a random time and the randomness is based on the number of people that are viewing and the number of likes we have on Sundays and Mondays when 9 a.m. happens we stop the stream later on it Uh, what's what look like from the outside? Yeah, Nightbot is sensitive. He's set up that way to kind of keep people, people in check. Oh, is this the entrance over there? So I got to go all the way around? Well, no Revali's gale, so yeah, it's going to look like we have to go all the way around. Unless we can just glide right over here. Oh, wow. Rip, that was... Well, now... Hopefully the ice will glow a little bit for us, because, wow, that was pretty dark. Let's see here. What do we have that might make this a little less horrible for us? Okay. Well, that is very interesting.
Question is also, are we able to save over here? Good. So it's looking like these are skeletons over here. Oh, a fire rod? That's not bad. I don't like the way the bouncing ball thing works. It's kind of cool. Oh, well, that's just horrible. Oh, wait a second. Oh, this is seriously a Hynix in the dark? Are you kidding me? This is... That's, that's insane. Well, that's the shrine. So I, I think that's it, right? <laughs> All right. Well, guys, um, any other shrines that are in the middle of a maze that we don't know about? Oh, Gleamots, that was actually not bad. Yeah, exactly. The fire rod, like the link to the past, the... So what's in the jack-in-the-box, guys? We'll see what's in here. Alright, well, we... Oh, and an ancient core. That's, that's just great. Thanks for the ancient core, devs. Uh, well, guys, um, this will be it for today's stream, I think. We we plan to get three mazes, and we wound up getting four because we didn't realize there was four. Just yesterday, I found out that there was three. Uh, Um, I don't know, Yagnish. You, you use words that I don't know as far as where it's at. That's the last spirit orb today. We, we got enough spirit orbs. Since we have enough to get the two pieces of stamina to complete our second stamina wheel, we'll fast travel to Kakariko. We'll get our stamina wheel filled too. And, uh, oh! Yeah, sorry about that, Morris.
Yeah, and Death Mountain, um, well, the name of the shrine, I don't know where it is, but the one in Death Mountain, I I can pull up the map real quick. Let's see here. That's Mount Lanryu. I got, looks like, two shrines in Death Mountain. So we don't have any of the shrines hardly in Death Mountain. Alright, let's go over to Kakariko. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get our two stamina pieces, like we said, and then that's going to be the end of the stream for today. Uh, and tomorrow morning, I, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing. Um, uh, shrine in the skull-shaped lake. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna be tracking down some shrines because we have, oh boy, we have a, quite a few shrines still to go. Quite a few shrines still to go. And boy, I'm one goofy-looking guy at this point. I'm in this... Uh, Day of the Dead costume with a fire wand on my hip and I uh, heard man I've given you seven more minutes man I, I I stream every day for an hour and it's been an hour and seven minutes man We're, we're, we're getting some bonus time to get these stamina wheels, but that'll be the end of it. Oh, hi, hi. Welcome, man. Um, appreciate you showing up. We're, we're actually winding down, though. There's the stamina wheel. All right. And that will be the last one. All right. Well, guys, uh, appreciate all you guys showing up today and joining me for breakfast this morning before I go to bed. Uh, Gleam Eyes, Sorlock Plays, uh, Noah Bruner, Gabriel Cambria, Opponents Loyalty, Matt Rayford, Charles Michelson, Artificial Straws, Iron Bit. Let's see who lost Demon who showed up and had to take off. Uh, Prandy, always awesome to see you. Uh, Hernman, who just joined us today. Yagnash, always good to see you. Sonic41, uh, Tom Sonic41, my bad. Edgar183 popped in. Uh, Octazir Prometheon, uh, the Mr. Gamer. Hi, hi, who just come in a little bit there on the late side. Potato Sackhead, who popped in and Got the, the Wrath of the, the Night Butt, uh, the Legend of Game Z. So for all you guys who showed up and all you guys who weren't in the chat but still showed up, thank you for showing in here. Uh, raw Thoughts, uh, who come in as well. Really appreciate you guys coming in. Uh, Morris, oh, I didn't even see you sneak in there, Morris. Welcome to the stream today, man. And Harley Quinn, uh, come in a little bit on the late side. Richard Benavidez. So, if, yeah, for all you guys, uh, Jackson RF112, uh, Joseph Martin, Chad Keller, uh, Thomas Poot. Uh... Prandy, I presume that was something I didn't want to have translated. Appreciate that. There, there's, a, there's a lot of you guys that... Uh, it takes just a bit to say hi to everybody. Uh, Kyrex, welcome to the stream also. We're just kind of winding down.
All right. Well, uh, appreciate you all coming in. And Kango, who just subscribed, too. Um, so, yeah, you all have a great day. Uh, it looks like Raw Thoughts is going to be streaming some Minecraft. So if you like Minecraft, uh, go ahead and uh, take a look at him, I guess. I've never seen his stuff, but it looks like if you're wanting to watch somebody else, he wouldn't be a bad choice, I would presume. Um, as far as anyone else, you could always do a, another quick search for Zelda. Let's see if we can... See if we can find us another Breath of the Wild streamer. Well, that that may be the reason why you guys all show up. I appreciate you coming in. I didn't realize I was the only person streaming at this hour. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, 71 minutes. Um, that's about usually where we get them around. But yeah, appreciate everything. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, do all those things that allow you to tell everybody what we got going on. And... I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time again for some more Breakfast of the Wild. Take care, guys. And as always, have a great day.